Hey, sports card fans, it's John, Wade Boggs fan. Today's video is entitled, Some Art for the PC. Now, I haven't picked up a painting of Wade Boggs, although I do have one in my collection, along with some lithographs and things like that. But no, I'm talking about some art cards, uh, ASO, A-C-E-O. Um, these are standard sized, typically, uh, baseball cards that are have a basically designed by the artist. Uh, it could be just a graphical uh, design of a card. It could actually be hand drawn or painted. Um, these art cards have been around, at least that I've been tracking for Wade Boggs, uh, since about 2014. And since then, I've collected over 900 different art cards depicting Wade Boggs. Some I find pretty cool, some, eh, not so much. Sort of like the Project 2020. Uh, if you think about it, uh, now Topps has issued these Project 2020 and Project 70 cards uh, that are artist-designed cards. These art cards are somewhat similar, uh, except they're not issued by a card company. These are sold as is by the artists. And just like Project 2020 and Project 70, personally, there are some I like, some I don't like, uh, but they feature Wade Boggs, so I've added them to my collection. So today I wanna show off three art cards that I picked up in the mail recently, all from the same artist. But this artist has been making art cards since 2015. And it's interesting that his earlier cards used a different uh, medium or technique in the card designs, and they've changed over time. So I thought it'd be interesting to show you some of his earlier work. Then when it switched over to like a different medium and the three new cards that I picked up recently. So let's go and I'm gonna turn the camera view around and I'll show off some art cards of Wade Boggs. Okay, the cards I'm gonna be showing off, uh, the artist's name, and I'm, I may butcher it here, is, um, looks like it's Quasion. It's spelled Q-W-A-S-I-A-N. He also goes by Q. Uh, at some point he would just sign uh, the cards with a Q. Um, but that's his name. So he started off, at least again, as far as I can tell, what I saw on, on eBay, uh, started off in 2015. And I'll, I'll show off a couple of the ones that, that he originally did. And the first one here that I, I, I picked up, uh, it's the oldest one I have. It's a, a T206, you know, tobacco sized card. Um, what he, uh, started off by doing is if you can see at the top there it says October 26 15 so that's when he drew the card and he did denote that it was a one of one and then there's his name by uh, Quasian again I, I think that's how you pronounce it um, anyway it looks like upon close inspection of this card that it may have started off with like a, a marker um, and then maybe the detail was done by, by pen. Um, and it looked like some of these uh, borders may have been like maybe pre-printed and then he would paint or draw the actual image. And the reason why is the backs are blank, at least the, the original ones here. And as you can see, the colors of the face and the, the blue there down around his neck and his cap have sort of bled through the back of the card a little bit. Uh, so it looks like he did like a base uh, color, maybe with a marker, and then touched it up later with um, some darker uh, pens or whatever. But there's uh, the first mini that I have. And the next one he produced uh, was another mini. This one was from October 30th, 2015. And again, you can see that he may have created that that border and background, uh, but it may have, I don't know, it may have been digitally done, I'm not sure. Um, but he also tended to use, as you can see around his, his face and stuff, used a lot of uh, uh, small little dots um, to 
to, to create the image. As you can see here, it, it sort of you can sort of see it bled through as well. And then the another one here, this one has sort of like an orangey background. This was done in November, looks like November 3rd of 2015. Just uh, different uh, designs. I, I know I, I didn't always like the image that he used, um, but I like the overall design of the card. And again, there you can see it uh, bleeding through. And now this one, he changed things up a little bit. And again, these were the, I think the first four that he came out with. And so this was November 9th, 2015. And one of one. And again, this is just a darker um, image or at least use of ink on it. And the back you can see the little bit of, of bleed out there uh, for his arms and then his face. That was a pretty cool one. Then he also did some full size cards. And this is from, I think, I think these are actually all in a row. So he did some minis and followed up with a full size card. And if my camera here can focus. There we go. This was done on November 21st of 2015. And there you see he just signed by Q. Uh, sometimes, depending on space, uh, he just signed Q and, instead of the full name. Uh, but this one, you can pretty easily tell that, that he had um, printed the design like of the outside border, which is, I think, most of them he did. He would print like the canvas or the border design and then he'd actually draw on the open space that he left for himself. And again, this one's black, blank backed, and you can see the, the bleed through of some of the ink. There he did one, and what he would normally do is he would normally, at, at different stages, he would do one for um, the Red Sox, and then he would do follow it up with the Yankees and maybe a Devil Rays, uh, not always. Um, so as you can see here, this is a Red Sox one, and he followed that up with another Red Sox one. Um, this one has more of a white, just a white outline border. And he always, he, he tends to use maybe slightly different borders. Now this was the previous one. So again, same thing, but just white instead of a blue tint. And again, you can see some of the bleed through on the back. And then lastly, he did one of him on the Yankees. Again, looks like it used that same whitish uh, background there. This was done on November 25th. And there's the back. Then after a few years, um, he, he changed. And, and again, I'm not an artist, so I may get some of these terms wrong. But uh, these were ones that were done in 2018. So even up to and including 2018, and I think maybe into 2019, he still did some similar art cards where you could tell he did the art right on the card. I'm not sure what, what changed, but he started doing more, they almost look more like prints, that, that he may have done something, maybe moved to a digital medium, where instead of touching the card, he actually designed maybe on a computer, the image, and then printed it out as a one-of-one one, uh, art card. And so these three here I picked up, uh, he did it in the style of the 1952 top set, which I really like. So these these three, I actually really, really like. So here's the, the, the front, and it's a facsimile autograph, of course. Um, that's a pretty cool image. I had never seen an image like that. And again, maybe he drew that. Because I don't recall ever seeing a portrait image of Wade Boggs um, like that. And it's I, I love the more detail look. When it comes to art, I, I'm more of, I don't know even what you, what you call it, but more uh, realistic um, rather than interpretations and things like that. Um, I like the fine details. And this almost looks like a, um, an artist rendering of an image, like an actual picture. 
But what he switched to start doing is he would put the information on the back of the card. So rather than a blank back, he would put that this is a one of one, the player and the creation date. So he did this one June 24th, 2018, and then he signed it. And he says original art ACEO. And I forget what artist created something. So I, I forget what ASO stands for, but it's a pretty standard acronym for artist created mediums and cards and things like that. So one of a kind. All right. So that was the Yankees one that he did. Then he followed that up with a double raise. And so he has some sort of background brownish background there. But again, looks like a, now that one, I may have seen a similar photograph of Boggs, but then again, he could have uh, created that on his own. Um, it's interesting that he used the same autograph there. And as you can see right below the Wade Boggs, it has a, whoop, it has a 26 <laughs> on it. Uh, probably should have done one with a 12, but anyway. Um, so there's that one there in that 52 tops design. He did that one on June 24th. And then he followed up with the Red Sox. As you can see, he tried to use uh, some white there and stuff to show like some shadows and, and things like that. Um, really nice detail there on the beard. So again, it's more of a photograph uh, than a drawing. And then there's the back there. He did that June 24th. In fact, all, th yeah, all three of them were done on the same day. So obviously he did these, like I said, most likely on a computer, I'm guessing, um, and then <clears throat> produced them all on June 24th. All right, the last ones are the three that I picked up. And again, he's he's kept with the sort of the, the medium there of more of a photograph but he's in, he's he's done some changes to it some artistic uh changes some backgrounds some multicolors and things like that so first one i have is him in a red Sox uniform so you can see he used what looks like just a picture of him possibly throwing a, a batter out from third base i'm assuming um, but he he's added um either changed the background because it looks like the crowd in the stadium, whether he added that or whether he just took that image of him throwing and then completely created the background. But it's a lot more colorful. Um, you can see some of the, the things go over his, his leg and stuff like that. So he just blended all those colors in. And again, he went to putting all the information. And another change that he did was... He's gone away from doing pure one of ones. He's done some, but in other cases, he'll do like limited print runs. So this one here, and as you can see, it says original fine art print. So he goes away from saying it's an ASO card to an original fine art print um, signed by him. And this was done on August 8th of this year. And he only did... 10 of these, printed 10 of these. So again, these were designed by him. These weren't, again, on-card drawings of him as he did back in 2015, but they're still pretty cool. And again, not too inexpensive with shipping and tax. I think this is maybe around 10 bucks. Um, just a neat card to add to my collection. So he started off with the Red Sox one. Then he went to one with the Yankees. And I, I believe I've seen a similar picture of this. So again, he may have used an image and then just create a very colorful background. And you can see the colors there bleed over on the pants and, and the jersey. So he just did a nice little colorization um, of that image. And this was done on August 14th. And again, this one was also uh, picked up uh, version 5 out of 10. Uh, the earlier versions, people were bidding them up to as much as uh, uh, $10, $12, and then you had another $4 or $5 of shipping and tax on it, and I just waited and knew I'd pick up at least one of the 10 and, and got it for maybe half of what the, the other auctions went for. 
But there's his one on the Yankees. And we will finish it up with the one from the Devil Rays. Again, pretty standard image or photograph of Boggs on the Devil Rays with him at bat. Um, looks like there was a dugout in the picture. And this artist sort of blurred everything and just um, blended all the different colors onto the uh, design of it. So, I don't know. I, fi I find these interesting. Uh, they're not too wacky or out of the norm. Um, it's still an, an image of Boggs with an artist's flair to it. Um, this one was done on September 12th, and this I actually picked up uh, number two out of ten. So there you have it. Uh, three new art cards to add to my collection. I think I'm over, like I said, 920 or so various art cards. Again, different mediums, different ways these artists produce the cards. Uh, some of them are true artists that they actually draw on the card. Some of them use digital media and then print out uh, the card. Uh, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of this group of art cards. They're they're very different from when this artist first started off uh, to when his you know he's doing his new stuff here. Uh, if you liked this video, would really appreciate a thumbs up. And hey, if you've been checking out my videos and you are not a subscriber, would love for you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified the next time I load a video. That's all I have for you, as always. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.